this is normal. Hi, I'm Shui Yu, and the paper title is The Solution Path Algorithm for Identity Aware Multi Object Tracking. This is joint work with Dae Yu Meng, Wang Min Tso, and Alex Hauptman. The task of identity aware multi object tracking is to not only track each object, but also assign the correct identity to each object. For example, given the person detections from multiple frames, we want to know which detections belong to Bob and which belong to Mary. In this example, the trajectory of the man is assigned the identity Bob and the woman assigned Mary, which is correct. However, if the tracker mistakes Mary as Bob and Bob as Mary, then the tracking is incorrect even if these two people were successfully tracked. We formulate identity aware tracking as assigning a label to each person detection. In our example, this is the correct assignment. This assignment can be encoded in an assignment matrix, which we denote as F. So the goal of identity aware tracking is to compute the assignment matrix F. And here is our loss function. The first term is to find an assignment matrix F such that similar looking detections belong to the same person. This can be modeled with a manifold term. Next is the constraint a person detection cannot be both Bob and Mary, which can be modeled with a L0 norm constraint. Next is the constraint Bob cannot be at two places at the same time, which can be modeled with another L0 norm constraint. The final loss function is a quadratic loss function with L0 norm constraints, which if directly solved, we may end up getting stuck in a bad local minima. Therefore, we utilize the solution path algorithm. The first step is to solve the same problem but under L1 norm constraints, which makes the problem convex and easy to solve. Then we solve the same problem but under P norm constraints, where P gradually decreases from 1 to 0. To initialize the optimization process for the current P, the solution from the previous P is utilized. We believe this is a better initialization than random initialization. When P approaches 0, we acquire approximate solution to the problem under L0 norm constraints. The solution path algorithm bridges the two solutions, the easily accessible solution under L1 norm constraints and the difficult to acquire solution under L0 norm constraints. Now let's see a real world example. Shown in the upper left are the current label assignments for all person detections in space time given the current P norm constraint, which is currently 1. The remaining three blocks correspond to the solution path for three separate person detections. As the P in the P norm constraint decreases, the trajectories gradually finalize. Notice that the solution path in the upper right is very turbulent. This shows that the tracker is confused to which label this detection should be assigned. This can be used to identify potential tracking errors, which we have shown to be very useful in the active learning scenario. In sum, we propose to utilize the solution path algorithm for identity-aware multi-object tracking. For more details, please visit our poster.